Hi, my name is Mike Aiello. I'm from a company called Differware. That's D-I-F-R-W-E-A-R. That's RFID backwards. Uh, we've got some RFID readers with us today. So down here we have a 125 kilohertz RFID reader that reads uh, standard 125 kilohertz cars. We've juiced it up so it works from pretty far away. What it's doing is rather than sending the data to a computer, it's just beeping the data out. We have a reader here that we picked up off eBay for $5 that reads most of the standard credit cards. We haven't plugged it into a computer or a machine at the current point in time because we don't want to be stealing people's credit cards here today. But you can have the world's best encryption between the card and the reader, but it's all going to come out in a serial connection to stupid uh, payment terminals at the end of the day. And we have various other RFID readers that, RFID readers that pick up other information. So we're going to do a quick demo here. We have an individual with a card. Um, she's going to put it in her purse, and I'm going to pretend to be a hacker and steal the information off her card from several feet away. Most folks think this can only work from a few inches away. This is working from several feet away. Again, this is Differware, D-I-F-R-W-E-A-R.com. We sell solutions to this problem, which are RFID blocking wallets and passports. So if we take the card that works currently, and we put it in one of our passport cases, or our badge cases, or our wallets, it won't read it. You can make it touch the device, it's blocking it. Um, there's more issues with this as well. The passports issued by the United States government and various governments <laughs> around the world also have this issue. Um, there's readers that are built by folks here at the Chaos Computer Club that are able to skim information off the passports as well. So this is an issue that uh, affects your badge for getting into work, it affects your credit card for paying for things, and it affects your identity as you travel between countries. Thanks.